things in my 500 square foot smart home that just makes sense part three. All right, I got a weird one for you guys. These things, these are called NFC tags. These things add a whole bunch of functionality to your smart home and they're only like a few cents a piece. It's crazy. And the best thing is you can get started using these things without a smart home set up at all. Let's check out how they work. All right, we're gonna do this in the mirror because I gotta show you how you interact with this thing. But this is an NFC tag. Basically what it is, it's a little tiny sticker with a little tiny micro trip on it. And you're basically able to tap your phone to the sticker just like this. And when that happens, you're able to program any action to happen as soon as you do that. This can be smart home things like turning on and off lights, locking doors, or even things that aren't happening on your smart home and happening on your phone, like setting alarms, sending calendar invites, sending text messages. There's a ton of flexibility with these things. And like I said, the dope thing is you don't need all that smart home stuff. You can start with that other stuff on your phone for literally only a few cents with these things. Let's go dive into some ways that I use them. So I have a smart lock on my door and I don't usually automate it due to security reasons. So I put this NFC tag here on the side of the door. Basically just lets me use my phone as a key for the times I don't already have my keys in my hand or I don't want to use a voice command. Just tap it like this to lock and unlock it. And just like that, you're either in or locked up leaving. All right, so if it's not obvious, I've been using my phone case as a phone because I need my phone to record. This one's one of my favorites. I almost always have my AirPods in when I'm out and sometimes I want to continue jamming to tunes when I get home. So I put this NFC tag here and basically what happens is if I tap my phone to this tag, it seamlessly transitions the music that I'm playing from my AirPods onto my HomePod throughout the house so I can keep on jamming. So another simple one that I absolutely love, I have an NFC tag both on my dryer and my washing machine. When I tap my phone against the respective machine that I'm gonna be running, it automatically sets a timer for that length and it sets the timer both on my phone and sends me a notification when it's complete and also on the HomePod. So I get an alarm on throughout my house and the washing machine's done, so I make sure to change it over. <laughs> Back in the bathroom. Uh, so this is probably one of my favorite ones and the one I use the most. I almost always listen to music in the shower and I never really found a good way to automate it until now. Whenever I have a shower, I always put my phone in the same place. All I did was I put an NFC tag there and have it so it auto shuffles my favorite playlist at the time as soon as I put my phone down there so I don't need to worry about queuing up anything. Last one for today, I have a tag on the inside of all my vinyls so I can tap them with my phone and play whatever vinyl album it is on shuffle all throughout the house on my HomePod. All right, I'm gonna run out of time here, so look out for a part two and I'll show you guys how to actually set these things up. Uh, they're super simple to set up once you have the tags themselves. It literally takes like two minutes. Uh, the automations I showed you guys today were pretty simple. Just wanted to make sure you can get the idea and how they're utilized. I have a bunch more complicated ones. If you guys wanna dig into those as well, just let me know. Um, I'll see if I can remember to leave the actual tags I have down in the comments because I know you guys are gonna ask you doing all the other videos. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys like that one and uh, look out for the next video.